In this video, I'm going to show you four ways you can become a better graphic designer. Coming up. In hindsight, this is embarrassing to admit, but in high school, I thought I was a pretty good designer. To be fair, in several of my classes, I was among some better designers. But looking back on my work, I cringe. I'm talking shrivel up and die cringe. Because my work was terrible at the time. But friends, I'm here to tell you that this story has a silver lining. Because this taught me a valuable lesson. Always keep learning and growing as a designer. With this being said though, I do still get what I like to call designer envy. It's a very contagious infection among the graphic design community that attacks your brain and causes you to constantly compare yourself with other designers that are better than you. A few major symptoms of the disease are lack of confidence, jealousy, envy, and wanting to light your entire portfolio on fire and start all over. First, I want to assure you that you are not alone in catching this disease. Everyone does sometimes on a regular basis, no matter the level of design. I'm telling you it's highly contagious, but in the same vein, I'm here to tell you that you can turn around this unhelpful comparison syndrome into inspiration, thus make you a better designer because of it. Looking back, that's really how I got here. I always strive to be better than the person in front of me and working toward being a better designer. I eventually got there and then was measuring my work against the next person in line. A little bit of friendly competition is never a bad thing, right? And today, I want to tell you four ways I've personally used to advantage my design skills and dramatically improved my work over time. The first way is to surround yourself with good design. This one's huge, you guys. The more you spend studying, noticing, and engaging with good design, the better you'll be as a designer. I'm serious, it's that simple. I grew the most as a designer in my first year out of school because I was constantly surrounded by good design and better designers. Just from all of the design work hanging around the office, the edits of past projects I'd work on, and from being around designers that were better than I was, I was able to learn so much about being a better designer, all because it was in my face all the time and therefore I was able to pick up on smaller details that other people would just glance over when in fact those details are what evaluate your designs more than you could ever imagine. For example, I learned that anyone who prints text smaller than 7 points looks amateur and I learned how important white space is and to be extra mindful of cluttering my page. I learned what fonts were modern and trendy and what ones not so much and how to identify them and pair them together with other fonts. I could go on and on about this you guys. Surrounding yourself with good designs is the single best way to improve your design skills. It was and still is. If you're serious about improving your design skills. Take 20 minutes out of every day and look up good designs from other designers. Notice and take notes of what makes it a good design, which fonts they use, how they position elements, how they organize the layout of the design, how they keep the design from looking cluttered, what type of effects are used, and etc. The more you're able to spend on looking at a good design, the more you'll be able to pick up on all of these traits and eventually begin to draw parallels between multiple designs and styles you study. Second way is to recreate existing projects. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. And sometimes the best way to learn about design is to recreate design that really stand out to you. In doing so, you're able to have some muscle memory. Behind both the technical skills it takes to create certain designs, as well as the conceptual side of design. I'm not saying you should rip someone's design off completely. Obviously, once you've recreated a design, you're not able to use it as your own. You know, that whole copyright infringement thing, all that stuff. 
but you are able to use it as a tool for learning new skills and techniques. Think of it as your own self-study tutorial that you'll learn a ton from in the process, even though you won't be able to use the final product. Once you recreate a certain design, go ahead and come up with your own design concept and implement what you've learned from the practice project. Then you can use that in your portfolio. The third technique that you can use to become a better graphic designer is to have a specialized style. In your quest to surround yourself with good design and maybe even replicate some project that you love, you may be realizing that you start gravitating towards a certain style. For me, that style is clean, modern, sometimes minimalist, but sometimes colorful, fun, and sometimes classic, depending on the feel of the project. The point is, notice what aesthetic you're more drawn to and start specializing in it. How do you specialize in a certain style? You start creating tons of graphics that fit in that aesthetic until it becomes second nature. Once you've niched your style down to a certain aesthetic, it's easier for you to become really good at one type of design. Having a specific design style is also a great way to book clients. Anyone looking for or drawn to a certain type of style of design is going to become more likely to book with you. If you have tons of portfolio examples within their desired look and feel, the key is to get really good at one thing rather than spreading yourself too thin and be mediocre at everything. Then the fourth and final technique that will help you become a better graphic designer is to master one design program at a time. Speaking of getting really good at one design style, this theory also holds true for design programs. There is so much you can learn in the Adobe Creative Suite, like you could spend your whole life studying each program and still find something you didn't know how to do. It's seriously crazy how robust they all are. This is why I recommend focusing on one program and getting really good at it before moving on to the next one. Pick a program that suits your most common needs or client's requests and get super good at it. Once you've mastered one program, it's easier to figure out the other two for the random times that you'll need to use them. This will also give you way more confidence as a designer and it will give you a great foundation to build upon as you continue down your design path. And that's the four ways you can become a better graphic designer. If you got value from this video and you'd like to find more content that will help you build your influence and impact in the graphic design world faster so you can build a successful company faster, then consider subscribing to our channel and smash that like and notification bell. And if you can dream it, Bizon can help you design it. So keep on dreaming. Bye.